Dad and Holly. Here we are, we coming. So this is the progress out here. So the line of load's still to level off here. The other side has all been leveled in there. This has all been leveled and packed in, in with where the drain is. And then there's a pile of loads down here that's still need to be leveled off. Ian's graded that a wee bit, so it's slightly less um, steep than it was earlier because, because it was just a wee bit too steep for the lawnmower. It would have cut it, but it would have been a bit, oh, I'm not enjoying this. So at that angle, that should be fine for a lawnmower, either going across it that way or going up and over the other side. And then this is the beginnings of the car park. It's roughly going to be this corner to a wee bit beyond the buckets, then running up to about that post and across to this corner, obviously. So in there. Morning, pals. Morning, heading to yard two just to have a wee check up on the cows. Let's go see how our wild cows doing out here. The one I bought last week and regretted buying within half an hour. I think that's how they're. Hey beast, you wild bandit. <laughs> She's very on edge. Keep coming past her every morning, just get her used to a vehicle, quad bike, and me as well. Hopefully she'll settle in a bit. This is a lovely sight. All the calves doing well. Hey beasts. There's Percy boy having a scratch. Everything's all good here, looking well. Percy's in good spirits. It should be, best time of the year for him. Percy and Euro will get swapped in maybe a month and a half's time, just on the off chance that one of the bulls isn't firing right. You don't end up with 20 or 25 cows empty. Do them a swap and you'll hit most of them again with the other bull if one of them's not working. You can semen test them and do other tests and whatnot, but there's other things you just can't, you can't predict, so if we swap the bulls, we know we're covering them. Right, this hopper, there's a hole in the fill pipe somewhere, so I'm going to wait to have a look and hopefully patch it. Just somewhere in there. We've come to the wrong pipe, that's the fill pipe. There's the wee hole. Let's get something to patch that. So I'm going to put a metal plate in this thick, sticky tape over the top of it. The wee metal plate I cut for this, I need to curve it, I forgot to curve it, so... Dad's way to just chuck it in the vice to put a curve on it. Don't want to put tech screws in it because the feed gets blown up this pipe and it comes round this corner and away into the top. So if you've got tech screws sticking through the pipe, the feed's just going to hit the tech screws and it'll lose momentum going up. So if I can avoid putting tech screws in, that'll be better. That's why it's worn out, just because the feed's coming past it on the corner there. It's abrasive on that edge. There we go. That should do it. Doesn't look that great, but it's real sticky stuff, that. How long will that last? Predictions below. Here comes the lorry for wheat, just in time, because we're done here. We need this water lift for the bucket. So we'll get him onto the other side of that big shed, get him a load of wheat, and then there's only one left to go. Right, just going to nip back a wee bit, just so I can get it all um, without him having to move halfway through. After this load, and then there's one more, and then we'll have an idea of exactly what we've got left. Getting there, we're about half full now. Right, I need one ton. See how close my estimates can be. Let's try that. Right, I've emptied my one ton in there. Let's see what I've got left. How close was it? I didn't underestimate it anyway. Oh, that's not bad. That was probably 150 kilo. I'll take that. Done, loaded. There's another lorry coming. Be about half an hour's time, and then that's everything away. Right, next lorry's just arrived. Get the lights on in here. Where will I plonk you for this load? I'll put you on the bucket. Prime spot. That'll do you there. Good luck. Stay on. Job done, lorry loaded. There's a wee dribble there that I didn't fancy putting in the trailer, obviously. 
What have we got left here then? Those, oh, that block's cut short. So these are six meter blocks, 20 foot. That one's cut short because it's an end bay. So it's probably cut short about, short about two and a half, three foot. We'll call it a meter. So that's five meters there. Five and six and five, right. So we're probably 60 meters by five meters. That's not gonna fill that hole. So call it four and a half meters. Right, so three times 16 times four and a half times 0.75. That's roughly the tonnage, what's sitting here. That works out as 163 tonne. That's probably slightly overestimating, so call it 150, I would think, sitting there. A load of that we need for hens. So we've maybe got 120, what's that, four loads? Right, we're in the waterproofs. We've got the mask, we've got a tammy. It means one thing, we've got a hen shed to finish washing. Again, my favorite job, I'll probably not get too much on video. I'll get a couple of bits, but you won't see much of it just because it's dark in the shed, the camera doesn't pick up the light very well and uh, it's not much of a fun job to film anyway, so, so here goes nothing. One IBC emptied, Kev's now joined me, so he's inside, I'll go and put this on the hose, fill it up again. There we go, get that filled up. Firing back up for IBC number three, should be full by now. Yeah, it's definitely full. Maybe should have put the lid on. Job that coup that had dodgy hoops that I had a go at fixing the other day, one of our legs isn't right yet. So the vet's gonna come out tomorrow. Probably would have been cheaper to kind of get just a hoof person rather than calling the vet out, but hoof guys are not that keen on doing a single. Uh, fair enough, they'd rather come into groups and all that. So we'll probably once a year try and get a group of a few together that we think need trimmed and sorted out and have the rules looked at just so we can get um, a hoof person specifically to come out and have a check around them. This bit's getting brought up today. So they've been bringing in soil. So that'll do a wee bit. We still need quite a lot more. It's to come up a fair bit. Really sits low down here. And just ends up wet and soggy right where the gate is, right where you don't want it to be. I'm minging. So I think there's five loads there. There'll be another five, six, seven to come. Handy, because it's just coming out of where the new car park is going. So it needs to come out anyway. And it's not far from the car park. So here we go, let's just do the old. Right, there we go. That's that done, brought up to level. That'll just keep the water up and out of this hollow. Keep the gateway less boggy and there used to be a big puddle here, so hopefully that'll stop it. Kev's done shifting. Tell you what, those trailers are well built, solid things. I guess they have to be to be shifting gravel all the time. It's pretty, pretty hard wearing on them. Done, finally, done, done, done. Done washing. Still need to shift it back to where it sits, connect up water, connect up the feeder, connect up the electrics, check bulbs, there's a lot of bulbs to be replaced, there's one of the hen boxes needs repaired, oh Jesus, we need to do all that tomorrow morning and then the hens come the day after that, so hopefully that will go smoothly tomorrow. Anyway, the power wash is done, that's the worst bit, the rest of it, ah, not that bad. Banger! But I get a shower, try and get some of the smell off me. You never get it all off. Cheers for watching. If you can subscribe, please. There's a red button down there. Helps the channel, grows the channel. We're coming up on 7,000. We're about 300 away. So we're getting there. Give it a click. Always helps. And a like as well. The thumbs up button. Cheers. Yeah,